protesting for the same thing. You're not tired of this shit. You're not tired of this shit.
Thanks, y'all. I really appreciate that.
and everything that you out here for and the time that you spent don't mean nothing. This is a week out of what, 400, 500 years? Oh. You see what I'm saying? It's a week. It's a week. And also, you don't lose that momentum when Donald Trump is gone. He's been here three, four years. America's been here how long? So when he's gone, step it up another level. Don't wait on that man to just be gone and you just want to laugh. But I love y'all. I, I promise. I'm not just saying that because you right here in front of me. I really do. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I don't know, man. That's why you get tired of asking. This little deal. America, in, the, in a lot of ways, is the best country because we're doing a lot of shit that nobody else is doing. That's why we up there. You see what I'm saying? But if we don't fix this to hold each other accountable, all that's gonna crumble. You can't keep stepping on somebody and assume them to not do nothing and get more angry and angry and angry. And then be surprised by the shit when everybody get held accountable. Cause once it starts, it starts. So let's get it, man. Yeah. Nice. 
sin are only the tip of the iceberg. There are other systems of racism and the virus of white supremacy that operate that don't get the headlines. And so, when we say no justice, no peace, what we're talking about is, of course, we want accountability for police murder. Of course, we want those officers charged and, and, and put into prison. Of course, but we want more than that. We don't want equality. We want justice.
Yeah, y'all, we have a thunderstorm coming, so we're going to wrap it up real quick. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but the thing is, even if the rain happens, we're going to be out here tomorrow yeah. and the day after that. Yeah. And the most important thing that we need to remember, real quick, real quick, before we all start moving, before we all start moving, I want you to look to your left and look to your right and see that there's so many different colors, different nationalities, ethnicities who are all joined together with one common goal, that everyone has the right to a life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Two things, two things, and I'm gonna give it to my brother on the side. Two things. One is that to remember that just because this is happening today, does not mean that it stops when the trend space from when the trend space from the headlines and right. we don't talk about it anymore. The real work starts with advocating, correcting, and challenging the racist norms that are ingrained in our society. Yeah. So it's nothing new. This movement is nothing our people have been fighting for our rights ever since the first black person was stolen from the land of Africa. We need to remember that. That's when our movement started in 1619. We've been fighting for our rights. We cannot give up now, y'all. We have to keep voting, keep speaking out, calling out our friends who say racist things. We need to call out our government and our local representatives who inflict great white supremacy on us. Remember that we are standing on ground that was coming from indigenous lands and tribes. Yeah. There's significant points behind 